Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. Uh, just to get you some updates on my driver's ed journey, um, I, for those of you who have been following me on my journey, I've been working on trying to get my driver's license in. I passed my exam and I was put on the wait list. Now, I just got off the wait list and I'm about to start my first day of training. I'm really excited and a little nervous, but I have confidence that I'll do well. Um, I'm great. I'm getting ready to meet with my instructor and I'll be back later with, with some more updates and to tell you how it went. Hey guys, I just got back and first day of training went pretty well. Um, everything went as expected. Uh, I was n nervous, which is normal for a lot of first time drivers. And I did struggle because there was a lot of things that I didn't know about as far as driving besides what I've been taught when I was taking classes on Zoom for driver's ed. So it was a lot different than, than learning it in a class than, than getting into the car and learning to actually drive. But I would say this first time experience is pretty great. Um, you know, because before I was nervous and terrified of driving because I don't know what's out there. I don't know what's going to happen when it's when I go out when I go out on the road. But as soon as I got on the road and started getting the hang of some of the gears and stuff, I realized it's not that bad and stuff. I just got to practice and work on some things and most importantly, not question myself too much cuz that's also what caused me to struggle cuz I keep questioning myself too many times. And, of course, I did what we called a death grip, which I didn't think I was doing, or nor did I think it was a thing. But it was. And my instructor pointed it out, and I was like, well, I'm definitely going to have to work on that because, again, it was my first time driving. And, of course, my entire body went into survival mode because I want to be able to get home alive and in one piece which a lot of you would agree on so naturally my our bodies just go into survival mode just so we can get through the training or the situation we're in because it's in, been embedded in our I guess you could say our genes as since I guess you could say since the dawn of mankind but uh, it's, it was a good experience, but also a little challenging. Um, uh, I'm not going to say because I'm autistic or something like that. It's just that driving or any, doing anything for the first time can be challenging at first, but eventually you get better at it. So that is how I'm feeling that I'm feeling at first, I'm I'm feeling like it's challenging, but I know that as time goes along, it'll get better. So that is uh, pretty much uh, the highlights of my first time training. And of course, um, when it comes to how I turn, I went whoop, like uh, super hard. That part. <laughs> was just part of me going, ah, I gotta turn as quickly as I can. But I learned that uh, not to do that. But thankfully the roads that I was on is not as busy, but imagine if it was super busy, if I was actually out by myself. But that's the whole point of actually doing this training. You learn, you get the experience, uh, you practice and next thing you know you're working like a pro so that is pretty much all I have for today but I'll keep you updated as time goes along and I look forward to continuing on this journey with you guys and 
I'll be back again with some more updates.